There we go. I was thinking about changing this color from yellow to uh, something else. I don't know. I don't know. Blue? No, I'm going to leave it like that. All right. So there's the banner and everything. Anybody got to tell me about the banner? But y'all went so I could call her on. There y'all go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leona, what's going on? BGPO. What's popping? Keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Oh, Lord, have mercy, huh? No class, ain't nothing in the backstage, ain't get a pass. I could never be her rap. Andre. How are you? How's my doing? How are y'all doing with the, the loss of uh, your knees? Mm -hmm. Sassy. Hey, Sassy. Lady Toy. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's going on, Lady Toy? How you doing? Purple? You say purple? I don't know. Woody. No. No, none of that, Woody. Mm -mm. Never pissed. It's just been so gloomy today, that's all. And it's, you know... I mean, it rained. When I say it rained, y'all, it rained. It didn't even stop. It didn't take a break. It didn't take a nap. When I took a nap, it kept raining. When I woke up, my garbage can was down the street. 
Some people lost power, but I didn't. So I'm happy. I mean, I'm not happy because they don't have power, but I'm not happy. We got power. We didn't lose power. Cutting edge. How are you? Just saying. It was popping. Hmm? Ford, how are you? I slept like a brick, Ford. Mm, mm, mm. When I did go. Kev, what's going on with it? How you doing, boo? Cash money. All right. All right. I see you. Come on in the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. See who all going to come up in this camp. Are we going to do a video? I might do two. I ain't got to leave. I ain't got to stop, like, right away. And uh, if it's anything like last night, I couldn't even go to sleep. I was up. Mm-hmm. All oh, night. Cutting edge, I'm doing wonderful now that the rain is gone. Mm-hmm. And I see most of all of us met up back here so we know we made it through another day. Monique, what's going on with it? Hmm? What, Rita? Which one? You know I be throwing all kinds of shit up in the air. Which one? Hmm? Time boy, how are you? How are you? Rhonda, how are you? You got to tell me, oh, last night, oh, Lord. Girl, I don't know what was going on. I just had the sudden, you know how I get every now and again. I get a little silly, you know. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> What'd you say? Your asthma bothering you? You got that asthma too? Y'all got to be careful with that asthma. I hope y'all ain't down here because asthma in New Orleans is bad. Simply because asthma in New Orleans is already hot and humid here. So when you go outside thinking you're breathing, you're not. You may think you are. I mean, you might be getting a little bit from the trees and things, the oxygen levels. But for the most part, uh -uh. no booty. It ain't like that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Riders for life, what's going on with it, boo? Let me get my lotion from my hand. What's going on with it? Huh? I hope everybody had a blessed day today. As uh, I see we all woke up and we all made it back here to talk some shit again with 504. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shit talking. Woohoo, sister. You've been. Let me. This is lotion, okay? I do not want the sound to be going viral talking about five or four was on here passing gas. She said she was a lady, but she on here doing all. No. It's called lotion. But you can't put lotion on until you wash your ass. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, they like to just uh, go do a quick. And next thing you know, they got on some damn perfume and smell like ass because they ain't washed the ass. And if you ain't got no ass, then wash your back. Cossack bones, spinal columns, whatever. You can even wash your shoulder blades. Just make sure your shit don't stink. How about that? I wish a nigga would. I wish a nigga would. Mm, mm, mm. I know how, huh, Rita. I had to slip that one in early, though. You know, <laughs> you know when I get to talking, I just never know what I'm. Ooh, ooh, there's no filters over here. If you're looking for a PG-13, this is not the house. If you're looking for a P, 
PG-13. Again, this is not the house. If your ears have been virgins for the most of your duration of life, fuck up out of here, this is not the house. At least I'm being honest. Shit. Mm -hmm. Black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you trying to do? What is you trying to do? You thought you was going to tiptoe all the way to the top? You thought I wasn't going to see this shit? You should know me better than that. Let me find out. Girl Tech, what's going on with it? Stack? What's your stack? What kind of stacks is we talking about here? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How far you got? Are you close to being home yet, Monique? Okay, I'm gonna act. I'm gonna just be mute until you get close. Okay, because you know shit comes out of this mouth, and I don't be knowing. I don't know how to control it. It just regurgitates. Go figure. I don't know it. I don't. I. I it, it, this ain't no skit over here. This ain't planned over here. It just goes. However, the minutes go, slow your ass down. It's probably raining out there. Miss Akimi, you know what? Let me tell you something. I got to tell you something, Miss Akimi, because you see, I knew. I thought I told you. But you ain't want to hear me. Now, she thinks she going to sneak all the way up to the top, tiptoeing and shit, like I ain't going to see her. She come in quiet all the time. You know how you be in church like this with the, with the one? And she think I ain't going to catch her. Oh, no, Woody. I caught you. Mm-hmm. Oh, we ain't that busy when I pass that name up today. <laughs> caught you, baby. Mm-mm. Don't be trying that no more. Else you're going to be in detention. Okay? I will be holding detentions on Sundays. Sunday schools. I don't know what to call my Sunday school because I cuss in Sunday school. Not bad. Not bad. I might say, you know, get your damn books and turn to page 86. Come on, hurry up so we can get the hell out of here and I can go eat. Some, But that's not of me. That's of a force that's taking over me in Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Greedy cookies. How you gonna bake cookies and you greedy? Can you eat the cookies? Hi, greedy cookies. And how can you bring me some cookies if you greedy cookies? Don't worry about it. I got confused trying to say it. Don't even worry about it, baby. It's all good. Jenny, caught your ass too. You and I came, y'all think y'all slick. Mm -hmm. You behind her telling her, hurry up. Hurry up. Caught your ass too. Uh huh. That'll be Sunday school. You're going to have to have detention for an hour. 30 minutes for you, 30 minutes for Miss Akimi. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to hear any excuses about this. And greedy cookies. Can you bring some damn cookies to the, to the detention for us to eat? I like to eat. Pretty brown eyes. How are you? I like to eat. Pretty brown eyes. I love food. Do you see this? I hold near and I keep dear to the heart. This is the best pecan candy, praline candy you could ever want in your entire life. I went. I had to. I've been trying to look. The thing told me don't go get it. I said, okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. It's too much sweet, too much sugar. I came back with four on the ass, mm -hmm. and I punished all four of them too. Look at that. Your thoughts. See, at least Miss Akimi, did you see that? Look at that. See, Miss Miss Your thoughts came in and spoke real loudly. 
I saw her when she came in. Let me tell you something, your thoughts. Akimi, mm -hmm. Akimi and, and Jenny, they came in. They tried to go up the back stairs and shit, but I caught their ass. I sure did. I keep trying to tell them, but they don't want to hurt me. I got cameras everywhere on here. Do you hear me? I got the ring next to the ring sitting next to the goddamn ring. That's sending me pictures of everything y'all do on here. How about that? Mm -hmm. How about that? Sorry, I had Audrey, how are you? I didn't see you come in. Where, where did you go? Rachel, I see you. Mm -hmm. Jay the Dripper, detention. You got detention Sunday too, okay? I didn't see you. Mm -hmm. I didn't see you. By any means necessary, when did you get in here? Was you late? Okay, I'll let you get away with it, okay? You don't have to have detention Sunday. But Akimi and Jenny, Jada dripping your ass too. I changed my mind. Everybody got damn Sunday school detention. Everybody. I got to be here on a Sunday. Y'all going to be here on a Sunday too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Steve, where you been? What you been doing? I've been trying to let you get a break because I know you're happy, girl. Oh, I know you happy. Oh, I know you all. Ooh. Freedom. Freedom. You know we missed you over here. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, Ford? Mm -hmm. We missed you over here. It was gone too long. You're going to be attending. Thank you, greedy cookies. But you're going to have to stay longer if you forget the cookies, okay? The sole purpose for you to come to Sunday school is just to bring the cookies, okay? I like to eat. I love to eat. Bolo. Caught your ass, too. Since you and Ikemi is Bonnie and Clyde, mm -hmm. guess what? Both of y'all got the shit today. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it already. Ain't that right, Ford? Freedom. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Akimi. Y'all, please hit that like button, please, okay? Because I really wasn't going to even come on here doing none of this shit. You heard me? I said, maybe they, they don't want to be bothered with me today. They don't want to hear me cuss nobody out today. <laughs> I sure am. There go Trina, Miss Akima. She got your back there. You've been working, fam, and joint. Well, I know. That's why I ain't been bothering you. That's why I ain't bothered you. I say, I know you're enjoying it. That's a whole nother feeling, Steve. You know? It, don't it feel good? If, even when you're at work, you're thinking in your head, ooh, I can't wait to get home. Mm, mm, mm. Pop on a movie and shit. Walk around any way you want to. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's good. That's what you got to get your house off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and cuss today. Then your thoughts. I don't want you to go nowhere. How many cuss words do you want me to say extra? I can make some extras for you now. I sure can. It's going to get jiggy. It's going to get jiggy in here tonight. It sure is. I know. Like it was watching me today. I, I was up all night. I couldn't sleep last night. Couldn't sleep. And then took a long nap. I'm going to be up again tonight. I feel it in my bones. I had my fat cells in my jeans. Well, I ain't fat, but, you know, microscopically, they probably have a little fat cell somewhere. You know what I'm talking about. Trina, what's been going on with you? Caught your ass. Gemini Bree, detention. 
Yes, yes, yes. Detention. You got here late. Uh -huh. We missed you too. And this bitch over there talking about snipers, Steve. How in the hell she got snipers now? I wish there was a way I could just take my channel and just hold something up so that bitch couldn't see a damn thing over here. Now she got snipers. None of her snipers was in there the other day. She ain't had nobody in her shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody got detention. Exactly, Stacks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. I was only picking out two, three of them at first. But hell, I mean, I feel like detention-ish today. So everybody's going to have detention on Sunday. And Greedy Cookies is the only one who can deliver the cookies and bounce out. Everybody else. And you're going to have to sit in there with your fingers like, for 30 minutes, since you was late for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, Bolo, you want a spot too, okay? Make sure you get your ass on over here. We got Sunday school detention. I think you the only male going to be there, I think, so far. She always biting little lipstick. You know she is over there putting her damn lipstick on. I saw somebody over there in the damn chat. I can't remember who it was saying she was over there trying to be like 504. That bitch over there doing every fucking thing I do like she done. She's a new bitch over there. But you know what, bitch? I'm going to let you live. Ain't that what you say? See how that feel? I took your word from you just now. Let you live, bitch. You ain't my project. Just like a perm you put in your head, I, all I did was I, I just put a little something on the ends on your new girl. That's it. You can go now. The perm is done. Fat backs is the project. <clears throat> Fat backs. I know you missed me yesterday. But I'm back today. And we are going to be doing a video from IDK. I ain't got the rush. My ass slept the day. So I might be up longer. Mm -hmm. Which means more content. Yeah. <laughs> we going to do this video by IDK. The video that I'm doing is a video, I believe, that KB and uh, the, 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 the Teats to the Streets nigga over there. I believe it was one of theirs. But the purpose of this video, you can listen to it. We're going to listen to him break it down, and I'm going to break it down with him. I want you to make sure you pay attention to the chat. That's what I want you to pay attention to, okay? Because you got to remember that Kwame asked her to stay out the chat because she would complain that people trigger her in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Pranilda. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they trigger her. Right? Mm hmm Well, for a person that's gone to the EEOC to let them know that she's having issues with her boss, her boss, mm -hmm, she's having, but she ain't showing them this type of shit. The things that she do when she terrorizing people's houses going in the chats, taking over as a 60-year-old woman, telling motherfuckers to suck her dick. That's got to be about the most disrespectful shit to come out of a woman's mouth. Who in the fuck even says that type of shit? And you got me on the wall with you motherfuckers. Mm -mm. I ain't like y'all. 
I'm not like y'all at all. You're, you can drop me off that bitch because that is not no wall of excellence over there at all. Mm, mm, mm. Suck my dick. What woman with class close to 60, I'm just going to round y'all ass off to 60 because I'm 53 and I'm just going to round me off to 53. Now, again, I was going through the videos, the picky picky, which one? Any, many, many, hope. Mm -hmm. So I found that one. The whole one. And when I played it, I listened to him first as he's breaking it down. Because you see, he's keeping it 100% legit. He's keeping it 100% real. Because he saw the shit when the shit was going down. And like he said, a lot of this shit. They've been on here before they even got the Kwame. <clears throat> right. <laughs> right, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Suck my dick. That's got to be the wackest shit I hear come out of a woman's mouth. Weren't you the one, Fatbacks, weren't you the one that said that you were angry because men were telling you that? You were fearing for your life because people was inviting you to their dicks. Hmm? I'd say that they called you and they called Blister out perfectly. They treated you both like what the fuck you represent, which is a whole. So, I got a little notey note stating that some of my findings on you ain't legit. Well, let me tell you this. I can promise you they are legit. And for story time, I'm going to see just how legit it is. I'd say it's very legit anytime I'm able to know about your little man living with you at two different addresses. Anytime I knew about the fugitive and the getaway to Georgia, you see, how could my findings not be right when you confirmed it by stating that they left to go to a dance? So what's, what's not legit? The dance, I would believe, is the not legit part, your fucking part, the lies that you spew out that mouth of yours. That's was not the truth. And it wasn't your motherfucking son. Yeah. I am researching like a motherfucker. And I can assure you that everything I got on your ass is correct. Very correct. We're going to get into this video. We're going to get to the getting. <clears throat> Snipers are in effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you there, Greedy. 
I didn't know. I just happened to see this star with a one right there, and I clicked on it to be nosy. And it showed me, Greedy. I didn't see that, baby. But thank you. Now I know what that represents. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the getting over here, okay? Time is money. Money is time. And I like to eat. All right. I got it ready. We're going to watch this... Uh, this uh chat and i'm gonna read it as it goes he's gonna read it too idk fair use disclaimer this video is being used for entertainment and educational purposes under copyright section 107. is this it Yeah, that's it. All right. I think I already got it where we're going to get it from. Let's get to the getting. So the getting gets got. All the stuff that, that brown skin lady, all the shit brown skin lady been doing to me <laughs> and Rain and them been doing to me and, and some of them other females been doing to me. Not one time have I called them the B, the H, or the S word. You can roast the female respectably without. Okay. He is breaking down the videos. I believe this is the. Uh, this is it here. Yo. Oh, I believe this is my bad. That's me. Hang on. All the stuff that that brown skin lady, all the shit brown skin lady been doing to me, and Rain and them been doing to me, and and some of them other females been doing to me. Not one time have I called them the B, the H, or the S word. You can roast the female respectably without, you know, calling them all out of their names and stuff. So, you know, I, I I'm not, I mean, you know, I, I understand. And when it's man to man, and you all are. And it, I just personally myself, I stay out of the crossfire because what the man on the other side wants to do is trigger the woman, and then she say, "Hang on, y'all. Let me see, because I want the one with the chat. That's that's what I want to do too. But I'm, I'm looking for the other one. Give me a second. Give me a second. This is it here. Okay. I got it now. There we go. All right, so here you gonna see. Let me see. Did I? Let me come. Let me bring it back up. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, new member. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now this one you're gonna see. I want you to read this chat. Okay. All right, where we at? Where we went with it? This is it. Okay, now this is here where we are going to read this chat and see. Okay, let me bring it back so we can catch it from here. These motherfuckers really be doing all right, creating this little circle. That's the fucking problem. You still doing the same <laughs> fucking behavior, nigga. Them house ass niggas. All right. 
So you can see no here in the beginning one. of this one, right? Circle. You're going to That's see the here. Problem. <clears throat> Where she talks, all right. Behavior, nigga, them house ass niggas. You got KB up here. You got T's to the streets you over no here. All right, different. they're talking. Now, he's a bitch ass nigga. As they, they are talking, she's Facebook. in the chat. And a lot of you came from Facebook. And as you can man. see, huh? The I comments in the chats, the the typing yeah, and things that she's doing in the chat. <laughs> Let them defend themselves. Let them bye bye. Up. Section yeah, eight, big ass nigga, just like you said, why, why, why are you defending the uh, grown man? You see, the when, thing uh, with this, grown man, you gotta right, see, is that years, it's childish. Uh, didn't have nobody behind bully, him and got motherfuckers and shut up, right? Childish. Okay. So, bitch, That's nigga, I'm pretty sure this little shit on here ain't we no motherfucking here. problem either. We are sitting here. That's kind of the message. We just saying all kind of outlandish shit. Just say, well. Don't defend no bro. Oh man, let him prove it. With a grandchild. Yeah. Uh, let that motherfucker defend himself. Let him prove to us that son. that ain't him. Other than yeah. that, paperwork say that's you. You got all you. Bitch, nigga, you've been on this motherfucking line for over an hour. So here, but you couldn't spend this motherfucking time showing to go get your motherfucking teeth here. fixed, but you still felt some time. Found now some time you mind to get your some motherfucking goals. fucking business. Bitch ass. Now, nigga, shit, look boy. who's here. Damn D. Damn D, nigga. Then we have, as you can see, we have also, hang on. Motherfuckers want to sit there. Oh, man, he shadow oh, Nah, 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 nah. Because we should be hearing him talk, I think. So you coming over here trying to win me up for that motherfucker? I'm going to do you just like he do. When we come over there. But even if line, you don't, it don't you. matter. Because I want y'all to read this chat. This is why I'm doing yeah, this one. Let's... All right, so you now you mind your fucking business. Damn D is here. You actually helping me gain more. You know, you're saying more what evidence, more video footage, whatever it is that he may need to deal with her ass, you know, to prove that she's the one in these chats. This is where he asked her not to be. Stay out of the chats. That's all she had to do. Stay out the chats. But the bully in her, the evil in her, will not allow for her to stay out the motherfucking chats. She got to go in the chats because she got to be messy. She got to bully people. She got to put people down because it makes her feel good about being a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Now, my look at your mentor look at your mentor messing up the bag ain't nobody up in here but her motherfuckers want to sit there oh man they shadow been and nah 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 nah, nah. It's these motherfuckers right here see right right <laughs> Now, it's cool for motherfuckers to say wild ass nah, shit, though, section right? eight school girls get just like off my you said, dick you stand out of shit, right? I well a lot of other you. people say that shit last year but look how shit turned out i don't think the eeoc had none of this i don't one. think mm -hmm. that the judge have none of this shit either with those tpos that they got out here on each other when this is the things that they're the ones on here doing Fucking TPO should be on everybody in this motherfucking chat. Stay away from your ass. But people realize and they think that videos are gone. They're not gone. You just hold on to the motherfuckers to the right time to use them. Somebody gonna have the video. And nine times out of ten, if nobody have the video, I guarantee you Damn D is going to have the videos. IDK has a lot of videos as well. As well. And I swear, I got this one. The next one that I'm going to do. This one, I want you to read and see how she is in the chats that he asked her to stay out of. All she had to fucking do was sit back, relax, chill. She could have been even getting her own channel going. 
She could have been taking that channel to a whole nother level, but that ain't what she did. She's messy by nature. Nosy by nature. A bully by nature. This is her. This is her. This ain't nobody else. This is who we see on here. Get off my dick. When does a 60-year-old woman state they got a dick? No, Section 8 school girls. Putting someone down by saying they are Section 8. If they are, they are. You not right, but you owe every fucking body and they looking for you. Mm -hmm. Everybody, allegedly. I got all the paperwork, but yeah, allegedly. We'll stick with allegedly. They want that house you're in, allegedly. Mm -hmm. Maryland, Georgia. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. You see what they say right there. Somebody told me to go look at that video and I said, oh shit. I don't know how much more uh, Cino, you know, talked about it or had. Now, I'm looking at this person here. The M Soul with the 17 right here. Egg it on the hype girl. The hype girl. Now, I took interest into this. Because you see, when Blister and them supposedly departed and got rid of each other, divided each other, I kept wondering for the life in me. <clears throat> I kept wondering for the life in me, why would Cache come to me? I kept wondering that. Why, when her and Blister they went at it. They had it out. All right. Those were her mods. Cash A, the mod, hit me with a cash app of $65 with a note. I knew when she did that, I knew what time of day it was. I knew she wanted to talk. I knew she wanted to uh, speak on behalf of that. Me, I'm the I. The main op. So who better than to go to than 504? 504 going to be ready to, to roll on this bitch. I'm going to be ready to, to pop it and get it all going. You heard me? Because I don't like the hoe. I don't like the hoe. But this is the thing. You am so Blister, this bitch. Y'all wasn't dropping no cash apps and no notes to me when the fuck y'all was flagging and y'all took my shit from me. See, so when I saw these messages and then I saw Emso in here talking about some light the bitch up, yeah, you've been working with these hoes. All you hoes been working together. All y'all. Been working together. And this is entertaining purposes. Now, why come to me, though? Ain't that right, Steve? What, what you gonna come to me for? What the fuck was the game from coming to me to get me to go off on them hoes and for y'all to be able to clank, clank my shit again? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you see, y'all Ben was supposed to attack the bitch. Y'all Ben was supposed to go at the bitch. But y'all running over there with this motherfucker. Running over there with her. Fat backs. So all y'all in the same boat with me. I'm looking at all y'all. Y'all all y'all my motherfucking ops. I don't want to fuck with none of you. And I ain't. Y'all thought y'all was gonna be able to get a fool out of me. But you didn't. Simply because I already knew what time of day it was with all you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't no good and look at you. 
You still ain't popping off your own shit. You still ain't trying to better y'all situations and make y'all channels do something on here. Y'all ain't doing none of that shit, but y'all want to bring it to me so I can go fight y'all motherfucking battles? Nope. Go fight the bitch yourself. Y'all created the fucking problems with her, then go over there and eliminate the motherfucking problems with her. That's just how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. Seats on it. I ain't get to watch that much more. Nah. Damn, such yeah. language, ma'am. And he's speaking on that because she stated about the dick that she holds. I would now, damn, the up here, look how the registered nurse, U.S. veteran, is talking. Geesh. Ain't that that's up? Such language, ma'am. Surprise if, if, if it is true. That he can <laughs> look at it. Because that's look what I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Jeez. You know, we, we God know. Got damn. Mm -hmm. All right, boy. She got a dig it out here. Laughy faces. It's funny. All this shit is funny. Mm -hmm. And look at this messy motherfucker throwing up flames. That's all y'all do. I thought one is supposed to be such a professional. Ain't both y'all or the other bitch supposed to be nurses too? Y'all supposed to be top line careers. Nurses. You and the other who told me she's a nurse. I would never want bitches like you. That make me scared to go to any fucking hospital because I'd be thinking they do the type of shit y'all nurses do behind the fucking scenes too. Psychotic nurses. Messy. Yeah, that's he Doug. Got, like, like I said, he got some kind of sexual demons. Harry T on some Chuck and Larry and type shit. I see. Everything's like all kind of emotion. I want y'all to just read this. Nigga, go get your mother. That's fucking real fix, nigga. To read it. All right, but you're procrastinating, ass nigga. That's what you say. Well, yeah, that's what you said too. Get off your knees, section eight. Ugh. And the crazy thing, get off your knees, section eight. Get off your knees, section eight. Hmm. Ain't that so? Get up your knees, section eight. Get up your knees, section eight. But this is the whole thing in a nutshell. You on your knees on here. Ain't that some shit? You the one on here on your knees. You too old, too old, too old, too old. That's about it on that one. I want y'all to see those messages. That was the main reason for that particular video. You on here making gagging noises, letting a nigga tell you he don't hear the throat choke, and you telling other people about Section 8 and get off your knees. How do you know this? How do you know? Now, see, when somebody come out here calling you all this, when somebody come out here and throw that info at your ass, huh? Well, you ain't two centimeters off wishing you could have been on the motherfucking handles and, and section eight shit. Because maybe if the fuck you was, you wouldn't have had to be kind in no fucking body. Number one. Getting all this shit. Number two. Throwing all your money away that you had to be able to pay your fucking bills. You had enough money to rock out and move into a better house. You was rolling, balling when you got that 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 money. But look at just look, just, just look at you. You're on here, sixty years old, no fucking life, bored, sit home all day, looking any kind of way, chewing gummies, getting drunk, talking shit to anybody that'll listen. And not too many people probably listening, seeing that you probably ain't striking a whole three likes on all the 18 chapters that you write in your books on the community wall. 
but you are speaking without knowing. You don't know if somebody on their knees. But I guarantee you, I knew you was on yours. Mm -hmm. And you confirmed it. Yeah, you made sure you confirmed it. And I got the note of you expressing how good it was, how you needed him to stop so you could squeeze and you could, you are a whole, whole out here. I don't even know how the fuck I even believe you was any other kind of person. This is y'all. This is you. This is blister over there, grinding and fucking the air earlier. Y'all 60 years old. This bitch got a whole husband. You got a whole youngster that you fucking suck it. The world know all your business. But y'all the motherfuckers that want to go run and get TPOs because y'all fear for your fucking lives. I wonder why. That bitch got to make sure everybody sees she's toting her gun. So that's one strike against you, bitch. You're not smart. You're not smart with your moves. You letting all your ops know you holding. So they know how to come at you. One of them typed in your chat, they saw you at the store the other day. Hmm? Ain't that some shit? Yeah. They saw you, Bliss, at the store the other day. Now, you holding, ain't you? You're toting your shit. You're making sure everybody see you wrap the gun around you. What's that supposed to do? That's supposed to intimidate somebody. Hmm? These youngsters are the ones putting adults in their fucking graves today. You over there playing and unfucked up when you got over there with that Mo3 scepter and they want your motherfucking head off your shoulders. You are getting everybody involved. You fat backs. Everybody. Do you see all the shit? If KB and others weren't wise enough to say fuck y'all and get y'all away, y'all could have got people in a lot of trouble with the shit that y'all doing today. And you ain't happy, Fatty. You're not happy. Ain't no way you happy. You could come on here and talk about all the dicks you gonna squeeze. You could talk about all the busting he gonna do. You could talk about everything. But see, a bad motherfucking woman, a lady that knows how to really take it to her man, ain't got to come on here and let the world know, bitch, that he busting. And doing all that. You just sit on here and have that dick glow. On your ass. But I don't have it. Because I ain't fucking nobody. But still you know exactly. What the fuck I'm talking about. That's why. They treat y'all the way they do. That's why he talked to you. The way he do. Because he knows you a whole. Her husband. Married her as a whole. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all got going. A lot of hope in your blood. Both of you all. Y'all sure y'all not related? Hmm? Because the only thing that fucks me and crosses me a little bit is The family plan on the phone. People just don't do that. Mm -mm. They just don't wake up and, oh, you need your bill paid? No, well, I'm just going to put you on a family plan. Do you think you can afford to pay something up and give it to me if I put you on the plan and, and add you to it? And 
make my bill go up higher because I don't know if you need me not, then that might mean you can't, can't gonna be able to pay your shit next motherfucking month. So I'm just adding you to my shit and, and, and with my sons and my husbands and get, come on over. Get on the family plan. What type of dick sucking skills do you have that you had to be on a fucking family plan? That means that you were able to pay your bill that month, that next month, that next month, that next month, all that next month. So to be on another motherfucker's family plan, you couldn't get your number back. You couldn't get your number on. Like that's uh, you got boost, cricket, Metro, T-Mobile, don't AT and T and all of them. They gone. They shit high. Every money goes higher. But you got all these $50 a month plans for unlimited. All that. Internet. One, two, one, two, three phones. And my, my internet system that runs, it never runs out. The box, the, the, the cable moving box. It never, ever stops. It never runs out. I got three fucking phones. Three. I have my cable. Not cable, but my box for internet. All on one plan. $105 a month. $105 a month. And you can't get one motherfucking phone bill? You got what? One phone? That's probably because you fucked up with them people. And you owe. And you owe. And you owe. And you owe. And I know you owe because I got all your fucking documents. But you on here telling other people about Section 8. You on here trying to belittle people, inviting them to my dick you don't have. Because you... I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck you is. No more. Uh -oh. Then you on here begging for food baskets. You begging, wanting to get stamps, sell some stamps, buy some stamps. All this illegal shit all over the internet that you do. Scam, scam, fraud, etc. It's all you. All you. Download mm -hmm. video. Uh, it, it's just it, it ponders. It really does. Because y'all too old and you're sitting on this bitch. Sitting on here, hang on, y'all. Uh, let me type in so I can get the videos. Where is it? Um, Genesis. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I got to go to history because I forgot I had him there. All this time. And I'm going to say a few things that I got on my... Um, where is he? Where is this video? Where is it? Y'all hang on. <clears throat> Give me a minute.
I don't think I have y'all on the screen share, okay? Because I don't want to be showing other, you know, everybody else's sh shit. And uh, okay, let's see. Where did he go? Mm -hmm. All right. There's the video that I decided also to do. And I'm going to go ahead and I pondered with that one, but I think that it would be a good video for us to hear. And this particular video that I'm going to do is another video, uh, but we're going to do this one audio because this one is by, um, hang on, let me get it set up. This one is going to tell a lot as well. Okay. This is going to tell a lot. All right. Where y'all went? There y'all go. Okay, so the video that we're going to do now and is another video of theirs too. So this one, though, is the interview that she did. And it's the interview she did with Russell. Okay? That video, I believe many people need to hear. That video. Because you're going to hear the bully soon as you hear the video soon as it start you're gonna get attitude you're gonna get arrogant you're gonna get bullying you're gonna get disrespect you're gonna get all these things and he's really trying to keep his composure he really is and he did better than me because i wouldn't even fucking been up there and did it if i had been him I, I just wouldn't have. So we're going to get into this one. And I want y'all to hear this video. Where's my phone? Come on, come on, come on with it. This video, make sure y'all pay attention to it as well. Make sure you pay attention to it. Because it's going to get disrespectful. It really is. Is going to get disrespectful. <clears throat> All right, y'all, I got it. Now let me put on a little musy mu. A little musy mu. That's all. All right. I want my same jam too. What, what, what we had last time? Uh, feeding the ducks? Was we quacking? I'm going to know what I hear. That's it. Y'all like that one? Y'all can hear that one? Is it too loud, Steve? Tell me if it's too loud, y'all. Hell yeah, it's too loud. We about to quack now. Yeah, all the ducks about to get fed, baby. They about to eat all this bread, trust me. Hang on, let me cut it down a notch. There we go. Y'all ready to start quacking? We gonna a little bit. 
It's nice though. Love the beat. I know, huh? Ooh, it's a nice love beat. Yeah, girl. We, on, we good now? All right. Okay. You know, I got to make sure we all good now. All right. Let's roll with it. Y'all get ready to quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Fair use disclaimer. This video is being used for entertainment and educational purposes under copyright section 107. Let's roll. Gotcha. Okay. I'm about to say, where my song went? Y'all took the song? The ducks away? Y'all took the ducks? Now, <laughs> well, I'm going to be brutally honest, Russell. That's my style of communication. <sighs> I'm also a certain. so much. And in my opinion, I guess when you're roasting or you're giving your opinion about me, it sounds passive aggressive because your tone don't fluctuate but the words you choose to use are still damaging would i passive aggressive is how i have um here we fucking go to, that's how i feel you communicate when you're communicating about me and sometimes that can um cut off communication yeah. now russell if queen get out of line tampa tampa me down i don't mind i will because i am an alpha female and i can go you know but i've always had strong men in my life at work in my family friend not according to the nigga you protecting that ain't no strong nigga. Huh? Even a nigga that's allowing you to disrespect yourself on the internet that you call your man. That ain't no strength. That ain't no strength. Strength in a man is when a man respects his woman. And he allows him himself to be put in a position to let you know when you wrong or when you're doing something that ain't right. Your nigga don't do that with you. He don't even care. Why would he care when you don't care? It's the Tampa. Tampa me down. Tampa. And the reason why I'm saying this, Russell, because if you choose to let me go, I'm gonna go. I don't mind if you have to lift that voice hey, hey. and tamper me down. Okay? Thank you, boo. I knew you wasn't full. Gotcha. Okay. I knew. So you and I, this should work because we're both slow talkers. So I'm not a fast talker and it seems to be overwhelming when some people can talk fast and that for different parts. No, we gonna do this video. I want y'all to hear this video how she's gonna talk to him and everything so brace your ears honey let's get back to quacking of the country but um i think this should go okay mm -hmm. all righty so let me see so bad <sighs> so did you understand what i meant by when i said passive aggressive Girl, come on, girl. Yes, I did. The man ain't dumb. Is that your form of communication with some folks that you have a difference with? No, not at all. Not at all. So you don't agree with that assessment of your style of communication when speaking about Queen? Well, I can't agree with it because of the basis of I'm typing in the chat. So it might seem like it's aggressive if you read the words and if you take it the way you want to take it, but it's just typing. Now, if I was oh, talking about- Oh, you said these things from the panel, Russell. And let me say, 
at if at any moment, let me put my uh, thing up. At any moment, you all want to donate to the channel to support myself and show a little appreciation. There's the cash app, and you can always do super chats as well. It's time for us to take the fuck off with this. I want to continue to give, but at least show you appreciate. Now, hit the like button with that being said as well. If you don't like it, then I wouldn't sit nowhere I don't like. Huh? That's wrong. Like what? I'm gonna play it. I'll play it for you. I'm cut it but down I'm just so gonna say when loud. I play it, it sounds passive aggressive, and with me okay. and my personality, I practice verbal self defense. Mm. And I've been practicing verbal self defense for almost 30 years. And I know when somebody's taking a jab, even if they tone, it's not raised. And so I'm gonna, I'm going to try to level the playing field. And that's what we do as women. When we feel like there's a little undertone of a attack. <laughs> just trying to level the playing field. Okay, and I and, and I understand that, uh, but my whole thing is uh, we're all on this internet. Um, it's nothing that I can see or feel or touch you. Um, my words are my words. Um, it's not nothing as far as threatening or aggressive in any kind of way. I just speak with... Uh, I just speak with, you know, how I feel as far as, you know, I'm not going to say passionate, but, you know, just to get my point across, you know, I just maybe have to talk a little bit more, more louder. Okay. And I'm just, you know, trying to just, um, before we get started, just some of the things that, you know, I've noticed and, you know, you have some. You can express what you see in my communication style. So it's not a one-way discussion. Be free to say exactly how you feel about Queen. What is my communication style to you, Russell? As far as, um, as far as what? You, and you say these are just words. When I speak my own truth, you've well, taken the panels and been very disrespectful about my truth. Understood. Um, no, it's not just your your words, Miss uh, mm -hmm. Regina. It's also your actions and the things that you do on here. And examples, um, example, just one. Well, one of one of the examples is, you know, um I feel like it's kind of hypocrisy how you can call other people out and you can hang with the same type of people that you call out. Mm -hmm. That's okay, one now I'm sorry, maybe you didn't see the rules in the Queen's Palace. No, I our did, discussion, no, I, yeah, that's okay, and I, it just reminded me I had put it on my uh community wall. Our discussion today will not consist of KB or any other subscriber, supporter, content creator. You have called me out about my behavior and your behavior about cussing out your mom is what's on the table today. And I just want to explain why I did my video. Hi, Kevin. And that's the second video um, Russell to this issue so we're not going to add in red herrings and distractions I don't know who you're talking about in my real life I'm here for you and I yeah she to is your understanding y'all right now you okay. want this wall to end or if you want to start the peace resolution okay yeah I understand and no I wasn't uh you know uh I didn't know the rules, but as 
Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I, that was my fault because I put them on the community wall. Man. And then you know you're a little late and everything. You just ain't letting the man say shit. When he try to say something, you on you tensing him back up. Damn. You want to do the interview, you got to let people speak. The man trying to speak, and every time you speak, you got to shut it down, and here go another rule. Shut it down, and here go another rule. This shit ain't got no way yet. What's going on, but I'm glad you started out asking me about somebody else. I'm not here to talk about nobody else, but you and I. And yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't, I wasn't trying to mention anything. I was just mentioning the, the actions of what I see with you as a as a person on. For real, on Audrey. I don't know you personally. I can't really speak for, about what kind of person you are because I don't know you personally. But you know that was one yeah, of the right. things. But I can't say this. I feel like as a entertainment basis you have a lot of people who come on here to listen to other people's stories to um have fun to you know just unwind on a, a lot of things and i feel like when you get somebody takes the best out of you or gets the best of you mm -hmm. i feel like you're the type to the kid that takes Keep his it ball on and you goes on. And not anyone else because you don't speak for another man. Right, PW. Not, no, 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 no. I'm not speaking for and, nobody else. I, no, and I'm saying that, Russell, because you're upset because I made a video about what you shared and you said I took some things out of content, even though it was oh, a oh, oh, I'll kill. <laughs> so what's good for the goose is good for the cat. Oh, oh okay. I'll chill. And, 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 okay. and that's cool. That's cool, and I have no problem with that. But I mean, okay. the 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 the, uh, the issue Ready is if, if it's if it's relevant and if mm -hmm. it's a real statement, then yeah, I can. I, hey, I go with it. I'll accept everything that you say. Mm -hmm. um, but the add-on, that's that's where the problem, <laughs> you know, consists. Well, we'll deal with the add-on because you've added on plenty. And my thing is, Queen took the poison that you shoved down my throat with a group of men. Yeah. I gave you a little dose of poison. Yeah, Michael. And you were almost crying and caring, and I'm not here to disrespect you. You're going to take this poison. Like I took it. Let me tell you what she's doing. She want to slam his ass, all right? She want to get in the mud. She want to get gritty and grimy with him. So she's setting it up so that she could, you're going to take this ass whipping. I'm about to talk to you rough. I'm about to disrespect. I'm about to do it all. And he feel it. He feel it coming. But she ain't trying to just let the man do it. He She's attacking before he speak. From a group. Okay. Listen to it the song. Malicious. You've expected me to swallow pop poison. Here we go. And I gave you just a little tad of dose. Here we go. And you got up there this morning on another person's stage. You've been sending little cash apps. Nobody gonna talk to Queen. No, they're not. I'm grown. And you're gonna take this poison and you're gonna live. But you'll know how it feel. Okay? Bully and here we go. And I'll the flow. Here goes the bully. Well, Miss Regina, I've been taking poison all my life, and I'm still living, so I can handle it. I'm a big boy. I'm okay. a very big boy. All yeah, right. So, but but see, the thing about it is, right? Can you accept it? If it's, oh if yes, it's oh that. yeah. Okay. Like, we gonna okay. be queen, and I need you okay. to be you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Rita. All, that's, that's all I want to know. And you said, it. "Can I accept it?" I told you. You and a group of men forced me to swallow poison. I'm still living. I'm still standing. <clears throat> they forced her. Okay. I gave you a small dose. One woman gave you a small dose. And you start kicking and hollering, Russell. So if I can swallow multiple poisons, a spoon for multiple people that you rock with. Come on, my brother. 
take this little dose and let's talk about it. Wait. Don't get focused on the extended version of it, but I had to get you here, right? You here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what it? All right. So let's see. Let's go. And um, thank you for accepting. Well, I accepted an invitation. But Be every woman, little girl's first love. But after that, it's supposed to be the man. Who told you that? What rules are you doing? You can't impose your beliefs on others, Russell. Mm. Okay. I really question your words until uh, another man was admonished for using a piece of your word, not all the shit you said. We okay. must stop this, Russell. Of okay. compose. My father, my love, he's dead. My son. It's the love of my life. You don't have to agree with that, but it's not dysfunctional. Your upbringing is dysfunctional, and you question. Okay. So, so wait a minute. Question, so wait a minute. You questioning me? But you saying cussing out my mother at a young age, at a teen, as a teenager? It's dysfunctional. And it's what you, some of you you behave some of the way you behave now. It's why you ended up in jail. She about to tell, she telling him his life, okay? Let me read this that she have on here and you gonna get a feel for where she's going with this shit because she about to start disrespecting the fuck out of him. Queen was a employee, never compared biz, a business relationship to a personal relationship with your mama, your auntie, your wife, your girlfriend, baby mama, side piece, or the employer may distort the expectations of a business relationship. Q is very clueless. Why grown men are on Thanksgiving Day discussing a fired employee? Where is your family? All right. She's telling this man about his coming up, how he was uh, 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 fucked over as a child, basically. He, his upbringing was wrong, it was bad, it was foul, but yet she don't want him to say anything about hers. Hers so? was dysfunctional. You think so? How she know his shit dysfunctional? Do you think so? It's a lot of people who commit crimes, they just don't no, know. No, we're not crimes. talking about a lot of people, we're talking about you, because yeah, you I, say, I, I, yes, you, say it. you alluded to my home was dysfunctional. And I'm telling you, she is shit daydreaming. In my she is. So, shouldn't you stop going around pushing your beliefs on others with your dysfunctional home? Am I you? Uh, no, I can't say that, Regina, because there's nothing dysfunctional about me. Right. When I was young, I was going through a time yeah. doing stuff out in the streets. So I can understand, Michael. Life. It's like he was scared of. I got caught up with, and I went to jail for you. How was I with what? When when you're talking about this time period, when you was in the streets. Right, I was a teenager since I was 10, 11 years old. But she ain't PW. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. I I apologize. For what? What you apologizing for, Russell? All the way but actually, you started when you was 10 and 11, and you know it. You're trying no, to. No, no, I, no, no, okay. no, no, no. Don't play with me. Yeah. That's why you got fired. You, you do too much. Ain't no more fire by the no fucking floor. I won't deal with this shit. And you keep going from panel to panel saying that's weird. No one would say that about their son. Nigga. And I'm just saying, nigga, is you know, you know, like when I did it, my stilo. Yeah, right. Not to disrespect you, Russell. You must. You can continue to do, do it, but nobody is going to like this nigga talking out the side of his neck. Uh -huh. I don't like to hear that shit. That's what I don't understand, Daydreamer. Uh -huh. How he allowing this bitch to but just run him like that? For you, the question 
my functional home and the chair that yours is dysfunctional. And when I push that poison just a little bit at you, you start hollering and screaming. Well, here's some poison, because he don't want to say it. I'm going to fucking say it. Your shit ain't functional at all. That ain't no functional home. How is functional? A nigga come in, disrespect you? Huh? Your throat choke, you gagging, talking about squeezing and busting and fucking all day. That's dysfunctional. That ain't no motherfucking coming up the right way. You got a son, don't you? You got a daughter, don't you? You got a grandbaby, don't you? But you in the house, whether they're now or not, getting your little suck on, choking, allowing yourself to be, you ain't no fucking different than what you did with that empress over there. You ain't no different. You set her up. You got that fax nigga to get a video of her doing the oral thing. Then here you go. Here you go. Now, I don't know what she got going. She just like that. Since I've been knowing her, she's just out there. But you, as a 60-year-old, you and her ain't the same age. You use a nigga that's in jail for four different counts agree you defend a nigga in there for these charges and you your shit is, is not dysfunctional your brain is dysfunctional if the house ain't the brain is and since your brain is then your house is as well I'm just gonna have to speak for you Russell when I break this motherfucker down. No, never that. Uh, believe me, never that. I hear what you're saying. Okay. I hear what you're saying. But see, the thing about yeah, it, uh, yeah. what you need to understand is yeah, Audrey. Young age like that, when I'm in the house and I'm living the life that I was living, see, the difference between you right. My, your son and me your son was probably not involved in anything or any activities I was involved in. So it comes with the lifestyle. He wasn't in that lifestyle because he was the love of my life. Okay, and that's fine. And I sacrificed. And that's fine. What I, is I have no weird about a mother saying her adult son who has made it? to 35 years old in the struggle in the streets with the same uh issues as old black men saying my son is the love of my life russell and i said it i said that's supposed to be hell for the man that you should share your world with that's your belief you cannot bestow your belief on others and why why i can't i mean you do the same thing right that's what i'm saying right What's you came problem? from a dysfunctional home. I did not. Is that what you feel? Okay, that's fine. At least yeah, right. You know, this issue with the son and mom. I'm not saying other things, but I'm just saying I can't. Don't don't Ooh. debate with me. I'm about, about to. My I'm about to. Steve. When your words are extreme, Russell. Okay. And they're extreme based on your dysfunctional upbringing. Wow. Wow. No, it's, it, it was it's, it was my dysfunctional, in your opinion, exactly. It's it's dysfunc it's dysfunctional way I wanted to live. That was my dysfunction. That had nothing to do. With and I wanted to love my son differently. Thank you, Miss Akimi. So Thank you all. So he gets about streets Thank differently. You. I just did it different as your mama, Russell. Different. Okay. I am voting. It doesn't make it weird. I am voting. Different. <laughs> and, and bravo to you. Probably got a, a, a outstanding son. You know, bravo to you. No. So the fuck don't. I have no problem with that. You understand me hearing you go from panel to panel and make that one of your talking points as to something is wrong with that lady. 
Ain't no way I would keep um, letting her. Exactly. Yeah, I can. I can. Ooh, I, I know, Michael. Some kind of idea, but uh, you know, like I say, I have issues. No, no, no. no. With... I, you talk very different because I can't understand if you understood what I just said or not. Be be okay. clearer than what you are. Okay. What What do you mean, Russell? <laughs> For you to go panel to panel so making that you're talking to point other as a negative about Queen. Queen. This is insane. Because and you know, and, and you know what, life. Calvin, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Because those are the main ones on here causing all the havoc. All of it. Telling you how you live. Telling you what you went through. Where you need to correct your life at. Who you need to talk to. Why you came up that way. And look at her fucking dysfunction. Where did you go? That that that's make you better than him. What you did? What did you do? You got your, your fucking nurse's degree. You ain't working in the field. You was doing home sitting. You was doing that. You ain't no more. I could probably only wonder why you not. You see, it's one thing to keep on redoing a license. But you ain't working in the field, sweetie. You just renewing it. Which further lets me believe that the reason why you just constantly renewing it is because you know somewhere along the line you fucked up where you were working or what, what you were doing. So you got to keep on doing it. So to us, it makes us believe that you are this upstanding person who has a nursing degree. So you should get a certain level of respect. But no, no, no. See, my energy ain't telling me that shit. My energy telling me just what the fuck I said. My energy telling me that you keep on renewing that license because you want to play that shit off. But you know, in your heart of hearts and in your life today, you cannot work in that field for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Because you ain't renewing it to go back to fucking work. You ain't renewing it looking for a job. In fact, you're renewing it and you ain't doing a motherfucking thing that has to do with being a nurse. On top of the veteran, you see, you ain't doing that shit either. You ain't did that shit either. And you probably fucked up when you were in the military, if you were in the military. Maybe, just maybe, the stories you told, just somewhere along it, wasn't the exact thing that happened. You said these men raped you. They made you give them head underneath the desk. Huh? But yet, you went through this type of shit as a soldier in the army. In the military, you went through that. And your way of being a, 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 a decorated uh, a, um, soldier is to come on here and let your own man allow you to suck a dick before the world. But you mean to tell me you went through something as tragic as sucking a dick under the desk of men in the military. You see where that shit ain't? You could tell that shit maybe to Russell. But I ain't nowhere in the vicinity of your shit. Because mm -mm. I know you got a lot of holes, lady. And a lot of this shit you claiming and telling us that 
You are and that of what happened to you. Because ain't nobody just going to keep renewing no motherfucking nurse's license and ain't even fucking working as a nurse. You ain't working as a motherfucking thing. You working as a bully, a troll. You ain't even using your platform to help others who may have gone through that in the military. Maybe because you may have not been in the military. Maybe you fucked up and you caught that PTSD in that motherfucker and they gave you a honor or dishonorable discharge if you are ever there. Knowing your dysfunction and you shared it out loud. Mm -hmm. You don't see you don't see where that could uh cut off communication and keep this war going. Because you're not being serious when you speak about Queen Russell. Well, I don't she worked with a woman at Angie's house as a nurse. What's Angie's house, Angel? Is is that like a private sitting uh work? Yeah. Ooh, Monique, you ain't lying, girl. She do like one of them nurses you see on lifetime movies, huh? That go up in there and get the damn IVs and do some shit. Do some shit to them. Lady, let me tell you something. You have been conning, allegedly. You have been framing, setting up, bullying. See, bullying is not alleged because this is what you do on here. And many of us have videos that can speak as well for proof of how you bully people on here. That's what you do. You see, ain't nothing about you stand up in all ain't nothing about you a straight soldier i see many veterans today that are messed up in the head can't get no help so they homeless they under a bridge but yet these are the people who serve the country and put their own lives on the line for people like yourself and people like me and people here. Everybody. It's called love, honor, loyalty for your brethren. That ain't what you got. You ain't got nothing that shows you are good in anything that you do. The video I did the other night with you and the pepper bitch of the salt. You two over there talking. And I listen to everything that comes out of people's mouths. But everything you have done has been against any dignity, respect, loyal, Honor. Now, you ain't got out that motherfucker. If you was in it, I guarantee you, you didn't get out with an honorable discharge. If you was in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't get out that bitch like that. Nah, nah. It, I, I always thought she did some some sitting work. I did think about that. Yeah, it's called the Briggs, Monique, when they go to jail. I believe it's called the Briggs in the military. And then you also have the don't ask, don't tell. Now, I do believe that deals with probably uh, the LGBTQ community in the military. I believe it stands for that. Uh Angela Statton's organization. So what did she what she do over there? She did sit and work. I'm gonna have to talk to Angie then. I'm gonna have to talk to her. 
Let's see here, Savannah Street uh, team. How are you? I know she was lying about being a nurse because my mom a nurse. And when COVID hit, she was everywhere. Jacksonville, Baltimore, New York. She made bankroll. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, Savannah. Now, she... That the nurses, I, I did my findings now. I do a lot of good research here. And she definitely has a nursing license. She got it within a year. She didn't have to go, I guess, whatever program. But for four years, like my mom went for four years and got hers. Okay. It's the reason why you have a license you keep renewing it, but you're not using it. And that right there is a big ass red flag about who you are as a person. That's what I see. I don't know what everybody else see, but I'm telling you how I look at shit. Ain't nobody just gonna keep on uh, renewing no fucking license and ain't working in the field. You're working in it probably, and you ain't supposed to be doing it, but you ain't working in it at all because you on this bitch 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Ain't no nurse on this motherfucker doing the shit you do. I would be worried that some of my co-workers may see me on here acting a fool. See me on here listening and making sounds of a, a, a dick going in my throat. That ain't that ain't what's popping for no uh, uh, professional in the medical field, sweetie. You can feed that shit to Russell because he don't know no better, I could tell. But me, I've been watching you with that motherfucking nurse's license, bitch, since I met your ass. You ain't did a damn thing in that motherfucker since you had it. went to school to become a medical assistant. All right. We got certificates when I graduated with the Merritt College in San Diego. Got a certificate when we graduated and completed the course, eight months course. Now, let's say I had a license though. And I had to keep on making it active when it expires. You see, I'm not going to go and do that because dealing with when I was in my addiction and still working, I was calling in prescriptions. That's also in me telling my story on Sinetta's panel over there so you see thank you thank you baby thank you so you see this is the thing i'm not gonna keep going renew my license if i had one because i know i'm not gonna be able to work in that field when they do my background now so see I'm not about to do none of that or go take a chance still working knowing number one, I haven't been active in the medical field. I've lost some of the terminology, the medical terms, the ICD code. I don't, I don't remember a lot of that. So you as a nurse, You've been sitting out since the fuck I seen you on this bitch. And I've been on here since 2020. So if you've been on here since 2020 and you haven't touched nothing as a nurse. And we now in 2024. Do you really think that I'm going to believe you going to a hospital right now and they're going to allow you to work in that motherfucker and you ain't had no more experience because every day it changes. Medical, technology, insurance, it changes. You got to stay on top of that. 
So again, you can feed that shit you talking about to Russell. I know better. I know better. I've been watching you with that motherfucking nurse slices. Ben. And honey, let me tell you a little something, something. You did something that's making you not be able to get off your ass and go continue to practice in it. I don't even consider this no kind of war, and I don't know what war. Oh, is. oh, it's a war. It's a war. Know, it is clear. I don't know what war and it I'm is. talking about among the sexes. A man going around from panel to panel. A woman who worked her finger to the bone for a functional home. He comes out of a, a dysfunctional home. Mm hmm. That's your form of entertainment. A dysfunctional home? Who Calvin? Oh, no. <laughs> Chastising and ridiculing me. Being it's charged. About, it's just this. you two. Knowing uh, what your real life. Your real life is dysfunctional. <laughs> is that what you feel? You keep saying it. You can, you can, you can kind of ingrain it in whoever you want to ingrain it in. But I'm just telling you the truth. What is your I'm truth, just, Russell? He trying to tell you the but truth. I my own life up. It ain't got nothing to do with my family. There you go. I've never been touched. There you go. I've never been um, no, no, abused. Take, in. Don't take the conversation somewhere else. I just no, no. I'm, I'm just no. Okay. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. You go around now. from panel to panel, saying I uttered out loud, "My son is the love of my life." You uttered out loud. Me and my mama, it was like husband and wife. We just wasn't fucking. Uh, I wasn't describing me and my mother. Uh, what? Now, if you go, yeah, if you go back and listen to it, then you'll hear we'll what I said. Go back and listen to it. That's what you're I mean, describing. I mean, you can. I mean, I know what I said, and I know what I was talking about. But I'm not talking about nobody. But I, I, I like. I Is like it entertainment for you to pass your beliefs and judgments? Very much entertainment. Very much okay. Hey, Gabo. Entertaining is a part of your dysfunction, in, in my opinion. You didn't okay. come from a loving home and a loving mother. Yes. And if you don't think that spilled over to You're your damn right, right now, Calvin. You're, You're damn right, right on yourself. that one. Hey, Gabo. That's what it is. <laughs> well, I like this. Go on, keep going. I, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, to you. and that's why I told you I'm, I'm right, really Michael. Honest. I'm, not I'm keeping that shit. Respect you. We come from two totally different I'm worlds. I'm keeping it. With a different understanding. The thing is, I don't run around questioning your dysfunctionality until you question mine. Mm. And then when I question yours, you just got to cry. I got you. <laughs> no, I ain't going to be no crying. Because, like I say, I mean, it's all entertainment. So, end of the day, um, you know, whatever comes with that happens. That's what it is. It ain't gonna be nothing, anything off script, off, off this line or nothing. You know, I'm just voicing my opinion, and that's just what it is. I feel like I have that right. Everybody you else. do, and I think you could have took that discussion a little bit further. There are other young men that could, you know, younger than you, that are going through that now and are having troubles. Uh, in the adult life. You know, to this is the thing. You always tell somebody else what they could be doing to help somebody when you could do the same damn thing. You can't sit here and tell nobody that they can be helping young boys and that they can try to help them and, and see where they're going with things and, and how they're going about it. You can't do that because then you, a nurse, a veteran, should be on here helping mentor young girls that's been through child molestation great charges instead of helping and enabling a greatness help these young ladies help the young lady he did it to help the young lady he did it to before 
which was a different one. Help someone who is crying, crying to be helped, even if it's just a lend a fucking ear. To hear what people have to say, that makes a big old difference between death and between continuing to live. All some people need is just somebody to listen. That's all. That is the reason why my number is out on that other phone. Strictly only for those reasons. I will help. I will listen. When that motherfucker rings, I answer it. And now one time have I gotten a call like y'all get with niggas playing on y'all motherfucking phones. Do you know why? Because I do not carry myself the way you and the way that thing over there, the way y'all do. Y'all ain't helping nobody. You make every nurse that's a nurse look bad. And I'm pretty sure that they would take that motherfucking license and shit on your shit if they knew your behavior as a professional that took that fucking state board examination. It ain't always just about the knowledge of being a nurse. It's about the character and the behavior of being a nurse as well. And you ain't nowhere near, nowhere near saving a motherfucker's life. Because you can't save a life just listening to what someone has to say without taking their story and turning it around for bullshit instead of helping them. You on this interview to tear this man apart. That's all. You on this motherfucker to sit back and prove and talk loud and intimidate. That's what you do. Well, people are sick of you. People are tired of you. You ain't did nothing. And if you could sit and smile just being the most hated bitch, then your life is way far more miserable than I gave you credit for. Because ain't nobody supposed to be happy to fuck over people. Ain't nobody supposed to be happy to lie about things that happen to someone in their life that's tragic. But you still can't do anything about it. So. Let me ask you this then. How is it that you've gone through molestation? Even being great. But you stand arm and arm locked with a man who should be thrown under the fucking jail. Ending his life is too good. Mm -mm. No, no. He need to suffer in that motherfucker for what he did. And you have a son. You have a daughter. And you can't even look at their face and then say to yourself, I, ooh, I would take a nigga head off. If they break my daughter. No. That ain't what you do. You ready to go to court. Get attorneys. Get commissary. Maybe even go visit the nigga. To show support. To a motherfucker like this. You ain't no nurse. You ain't no woman, no lady. I don't know what part of Lucifer's ass he shitted you out to be. But you evil. And evil ain't supposed to be no motherfucking nurse helping nobody. 
I would never trust your ass coming in my motherfucking room. I'm ready to run. If I can't run, I'm going to try to crawl my ass to the nearest elevator and get the fuck away from you as a nurse. As a nurse. You think you know it all. You want to be knowing more than what the judge tell you. You think you know more than him. Well, see, the judge won an office to sit on that bench. You've gone to many courts, and I ain't seen you win a motherfucking one yet. Why? Because you ain't doing it for the right reasons. The law ain't going to bless you with no finances fucking over people who really ain't fucked over you. He didn't fuck over you. He allowed you to hang your fucking self with him. That's when you got fired. You a bully. You evil. You ain't got no heart in all that blubber of yours. You ain't got nothing in there. That's going to say love. Somebody tore your ass up. And they. when I say tore your ass up, I mean... They hurt you the way your heart is cold now. And you think coming on here talking about you finally getting high because your gum is kicking in at 60. You got another bitch over there last night drunk as I don't know what. What the fuck kind of high she was on. But she's grinding and fucking the air last night. Two of you. And I'm tapping in on your ass too over there. Bliss next. Flavor flav. Because you see, you too, right, Chip? Miss uh, Reginald. Ain't that right? Fat backs. Y'all got a lot of aliases. And when I click on those aliases that y'all got, ooh, it's pulling me up some information, baby. Information that can even be looked at as some type of identity. Ooh, I'm on the case. I'm on the case. Because y'all think y'all two just going to come and fuck up everybody and disrespect me. And I don't give a fuck who else. But I know one thing. I'm going to answer for my own self. I want to know who the fuck you really are, bitch. And I'm definitely going to be on it. You can set it up like Blister do over there. I unraveled her whole motherfucking life. And read it to I'm doing you now. So you can tell whoever the fuck you want to tell that me and Armando, our paperwork ain't good paperwork. We don't. Oh, yes, it is. Ooh, yes, it is, baby. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, we got some good shit. I, I know I do. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of good shit. You see, that's how I know what I know. I know what I know, you see? I know what I know. Mm -hmm. And everything that I know, you are gonna know in a little bit because I'm gonna let you in on what I know, you know? I wanna educate you on yourself. Ain't that some shit? When somebody else could Educate you about you. Oh, yeah, y'all fucked with me the wrong way, huh? <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, yeah. You must have thought I was one little bimbo like that thing over there. But I'm not. I fucked my life up. Ain't nobody else do it. I did it. And I could always say I wish I would have changed it a long time ago. But you know what? Everything happens in God's timing. All I had to do was stay strong this time. And now I'm a beast. I'm unfuckwittable now. Can't be fucked with. Y'all have caught me back then in them days. You might have. I'd have stood a chance fucking with me. I'd have been high. But now, honey, being sober is the best weapon. It's better than a gun. Because now I can confront you hoes. You demons. Head on. Face to face. You heard me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tired of playing with you. I'm tired of playing with that old bitch over there, too. All y'all have done on here for the four years y'all been on here was fuck over everybody. You took one woman and you know, crushed her ass and you don't even fuck with her no more. Huh? Oh, Mooney. Yeah, 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 her. You use people. You take from them. And when you have taken and you feel good about it, you move on to the next. Now, Mooney, you over there. You was getting paid, baby. You was getting banked. She saw you coming up. Because KB leaned on in and helped a little bit there. She ain't want that, Mooney. Oh, she ain't want none of that, baby. You got to be stronger than you are. Ain't no way she'd have came and stopped all my motherfucking. Do you know how much money you was getting, girl? Do you know? Huh? Even if you and old 86 k even if y'all wanted to remain friends, she wasn't going to let that happen. She knew she could get in your head. She knew she had you. Now you don't lost your money. Your respect. You done lost everything. And that whole sitting around looking for the next victim now. Looking for the next victim. Which one of y'all about to be that next victim? Because for the life of me, I don't give a damn how bad I want likes how bad I want views. I will never link up with a motherfucker that fucked me over several times. I am not desperate. I don't need to take advice from no motherfucking body on here because the people who want to give me the advice ain't even Dealing with the own advice you've given me. How this hoe gonna help y'all? What's she supposed to do? Y'all allowing someone in again. Who y'all let the fuck out? I'm sorry. Thank you for the cash out. But I'm on the road right now. I, I feel like I'm in church. Y'all sitting on here just as old as her. You over there going crazy. The other one. You let this bitch in your world. And where you at with it now? Huh? You disrespect me to hang with that bitch. And where you at? Buying motherfuckers. Buying fucking views. Buying damn subscribers. Y'all buying like a motherfucker while I'm over here earning all my respect. Mm -hmm. Y'all done tried to knock me off this motherfucker for a long time. 
If I was y'all, I'd just sit the fuck back and keep watching me rise phenomenally. That's what y'all hoes need to do. Sit on back. All I do is tell what I see. Tell what I see. Your ass lady, and I use that, I don't even want to use the motherfucker. But I'm going to throw it down. You supposed to have your shit in order now. I'm a nurse. I'm a criminal justice major. I'm this, I'm that. I go to court, I got kicked. You've been kicked off of every fucking church, every damn court. Starting with the lead attorney. Huh? Starting with the lead attorney. Mm-hmm. Y'all too. That nigga over there too, the shitty motherfucker. All you hoes getting right what the fuck y'all deserve. You getting that get back. That get back comes when you done got motherfuckers that you shouldn't have never fucked with because they wasn't doing it. The people who fucked with y'all, y'all still, huh? Y'all hanging out with them. Ooh, they call us. Shot call us. <laughs> They can get fired on your day off and everything, huh? Vacation even. Now that's a new one. That's a big twist of them there. I don't see people get fired on their day off, but I ain't hardly ever seen it on their vacation. Huh? Them gummies. You let them gummies talk for you. You let them gummies get you demoted. Then the man rehired your ass. Felt no, sorry for you. Brought you back. And you thought you had a fool. You thought that he didn't pay attention to the shit that people was bringing to him. He might have got it late, but the nigga got it. But he got it. Now you on here telling this man some fucked up shit about his life that he was dysfunctional his family dysfunctional who are you to say that he did everything but fuck his mother even if he said that maybe he see as he was raised to see who are you to come and throw a monkey wrench in the shit and make it way more than what he said or what he what it sound like. If that's how he knew to describe his fucking relationship with his mother, then that's what the fuck he knew. That's all he knew how to say it. Who gives you the right to say that's ooh, he was going maybe he might have fucked up. That's where you at with it. I see where you going with it. That's where you at. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. Two old 60-year-old senior citizens out here still thinking they 21. Ain't had no love the right way. So they on this bitch trying to love the wrong motherfucking way. Snatching and picking from each dick you can find. Looking for love because you ain't got it. Looking for love because you ain't never felt it. So now you on here taking all that anger, that rage, that venom, that poison. That poison. And you shooting that shit every fucking well. Well, it ain't too late to change your life. I did.
You are an embarrassment, lady. You ain't black excellence and you never was black excellence. You are your kooks over there. You can pack up your little kooks you got. And go skipping up the yellow brick road, bitch, and go find a heart, some courage, a brain, huh? Some condoms, a chastity belt. Antibiotics. Go find something. Because the only thing you coops can do on here is talk about sex. Pick out dicks. That's it. At 60. Y'all don't make the man wish he... Maybe I should have kept them. They look like they're doing good. They got their act together. No. Y'all make the nigga happy. Ooh, Lord. I'm so glad I kicked them motherfuckers to the curb. The thing is this. I've been to all of this. I spoke on it damn near every fucking day. I even told him about you, about her. Y'all were the do twist. Y'all wasn't even a twist. Y'all was poison. Y'all planned it for a long time before you made your attack on him. And when you got in there and you start dropping those links like you did when you came to my shit. Drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. Yeah, that's how you get people. That's how you got us. Oh, well, she's handy. Oh, damn, you know how to do a lot of shit. No, Tab. I just type it in YouTube. And I get it from YouTube. Yeah, right. You've been typing since 2011, bitch. Or before that. So you've been doing what you were doing. Then. The men, TJ, Handyman, you called yourself using him, finessing him. Tell me what you got out of that interview. What do you have that you could go type on your wall and brag? You so ready to put him down. He still got his brother, my nigga. Because you get that shit from me. My nigga, every time you say it, I know. But goddamn, a lot of people saying all my shit, though. But I mean, hmm? he still got Kwame. You don't. He still got money. You don't. He paying his bills. You can't. Ain't that something? Honey, I would say y'all at rock bottom. That's where y'all at right now. Watching everybody surpass you all. That now one is purchasing packets and they are going to investigate those things that you got going, Glister. Because there's no fucking way a person with an empty fucking brain can sit over there and do what you do. Ain't doing nothing. Pussy popping all day. That's what y'all do. I don't give a fuck. But I know one thing. It's time for people to know who the fuck 
and what the fuck you hold stand for. And that's nothing. That's nothing. Four or five years now. Ain't nobody confront this bitch. Four, five years now. That one person sat up here and went toe to toe with this bitch. Not one. For what? Why? What y'all thought she gonna flag your flag? Let me tell y'all something. This is YouTube. This is material shit. All right? You get a flag, you get a fucking flag. You get 14 days in jail, you get seven days in YouTube jail, so be it. That don't mean sell your fucking soul. That don't mean come on here and let motherfuckers step on and shit all over you because you don't want to say nothing back to the bitch. You're scared the bitch going to do this or she going to do that. She going to call your job. She going to, man, fuck all that. You better stand, sisters. The good ones, the smart, the strong. You stand up against the enemy. You don't crumble. You don't hide. You look this shit in the face. And when you do, stand You ain't even got to turn your head. They going to turn their head away from you before you turn your head away from them. Because the devil can't look into the eyes of the chosen one. And when you know you're the chosen one, you can stand up against any motherfucking army. Tamper that down, bitch. Tell y'all. My people over here, my sisters over here. But see, we don't have all that dysfunction. That's the word y'all like to use, you know. Yeah, no, dysfunctional and shit. No, 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 no. See, we don't have that over here. And I haven't had it over here since I started doing what I do. I don't, I don't want that over here. I don't want that evil. I don't want that spirit over here. That's why I'm so able to just look at a name and know they don't fucking belong in this bitch. Because the energy is off. And my discernments are strong. And before you get comfortable, you'll get this size six up your ass. Boop. And I don't give a fuck where it land, but it won't be in this bitch. I'll tell you that. Bolo, double, 86, Mondo. You doing the same thing with all these men that you did with the first batch of men. You bullying and doing evil shit that you did with the last batch of men that got the fuck away because they probably just didn't want to deal with you no more they probably felt like kb would never see the light because of you transforming from human which is which is a sin because you're living in the flesh. So you transform from that, then you transform into that little that little old lady who needs help, who needs support, who needs attention because she has PTSD. Fuck all that. 
If you got issues, then go get a doctor, bitch, because there ain't nothing on here. Nothing on here is going to continue to allow yourself to use that shit and get away with fucking over people because of it. You got PTSD? Go find the rest of the alphabets, bitch, and have a party with them. I'll shove them up your ass. But all this shit you've done on here when it came to me? It's fuck you for life. for life and that's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. I ain't gonna keep y'all too long you heard me but I'm feeling some type of way with you feeling some type of way you know what type of way I'm feeling I'm feeling that type of way where I, I want to confront you I want I want that that eye to eye that head on But you work for the devil. You can't get close to me. My armor, my strength. Let me fuck with this over here, baby. I promise you that. What your grandbaby's gonna say about y'all? Huh? You think they're gonna be able to tell their they, they babies when they come up? You know, my grandmother, um, she did a lot, you know. My mama, uh, she was there for me. She she did wonderful things to help people, um, uh, talk to them, and help mentor them. Go around to these places in the in the city and go and talk to the runaways, talk to the ones that are being adopted, but they can't get adopted because don't nobody want to choose them. So they hurt. They alone. Can you do that? Well, I wouldn't give a fuck, but I know what the fuck I'm about to start doing, bitch. I'm going forward with mine, and I'm going to make sure I want y'all to see this glow every fucking day. Because y'all kept trying to stop me, but you can't do that. Mm -mm. Can't do that. That ain't gonna happen. You know, we got people on here, some of these ladies, you don't win at many of them over here in this chat. You've gone at them, you disrespected them. For what? Because you thought you had a spot. You thought you were sold in with Kwame. You thought that you could do anything you wanted. All you had to do was pick up that phone and cry a little bit acting skills. You know you wasn't really crying. No. When you hung up the phone, Lucifer, after you made him believe you were crying, you hung up laughing at the fool. the fool in your eyes laughing at him. Look at this fool. I got him right where I want him. Nah. He got you right where he, he wants you. And all the plumbing line, you can go file for some unemployment, bitch. Or do something, get some back pay. Because you had become the enemy. But Kwame didn't know you'd been the enemy. When you went to him, you was the enemy. You and that bitch, both of y'all, was the enemy. Yeah. So I'm not going to keep y'all no more longer. What we did up in here, three hours, almost three hours. We got to get to work. You all know nothing about that word no more. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to find out. 
What the fuck you doing with that nursing license lady? Since you want to say the shit I do ain't legit, I'm going to show you that I'm too legit to quit. You're too legit to quit. I want you to write that down and take a picture of it. And when you're done, shove it up your ass. Miss Pittsburgh, thank you, thank you. Exactly. Exactly. Because guess what? I guarantee you they're going to run into somebody who's going to still have a video right up here on YouTube. When they type it in, voila. Law to the law. You heard me? I tried to told y'all, but y'all ain't won't hurt. All right, family. I'm about to be out. I will see y'all tomorrow, and we got more. But tomorrow is Public Information Day. Public Information Day. I'm going to get it together, and I'm going to blot out everything we need to do. And we're going to do what we got to do over here, fam. Thank you for the cash apps. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you. For the membership. But most importantly, thank all y'all for support. To allow me to be the one to break it all down for y'all. Because if I don't do it, who gonna do it? Thank you, Ford. Thank you, sissy. Thank you. Hey, Diane. Y'all have a good night. I will see everybody tomorrow. I'm out, chill. Mods, thank y'all for modding. Y'all have a good night. My bad. I'm about to share another damn video. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Whew. All right. Okay. Y'all have a good night. This time it's for real. Thank you all. It's going to be a great live every time. Because I got y'all right, Chip. To keep me motivated. Even though... I'm the most hated. Ain't that right? Good night. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.